Number 10. There's a river in the Amazon that kills everything that falls into it. The boiling river weaves through the heart of the Amazon jungle, and it lives somewhere on the boundary of science and legend. Known as La Bomba, this river gets as hot as 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Reptiles, mammals, and amphibians regularly fall in and are boiled alive. Locals believe that the river is a place of enormous mystical power and home to a strong jungle spirit. Scientists have concluded that the reason that this river gets so scalding is because of geothermal activity. The river water seeps deep into cracks in the earth, where it heats up underground. Then it resurfaces into the river, which is how it maintains its intense heat. But if you think heat is bad, next up we have a lake full of giant snakes. Number nine, there is a deadly lake deep in the Amazon that is teeming with some of the most powerful snakes and dangerous caimans on the planet. The Madre de Dios region of Peru is home to this treacherous lake. It's nearly impossible just to get to because it's surrounded by a thick swamp that stretches for miles. What makes this lake so incredible is that floating on top of it is a natural raft of vegetation which supports what's known as a dwarf forest. Giant trees grow 40 feet up from the bottom of the lake and they create a platform at the water surface that's strong enough for a person to walk on. If we had to guess which of the dwarfs this forest is, we would have to go with Grumpy because it is the perfect habitat for some of the Amazon's most devastating animals. On an exploration to the lake in 2008, a team found a 25-foot anaconda. <laughs> they tried to restrain the snake because they're crazy, but the giant thing overpowered eight of them. It was as thick as an oil drum. One of the explorers with a six-foot wingspan could barely get his arms around it. These explorers stumbled on a bunch of snakes, three species of caiman, and a, quote, tremendous tarantula population, end quote. And that was all in one night. This island is so overcrowded, it's like the Times Square for animals that will destroy you. Number eight. What does it take to become a man? I'm seriously not sure and I'm dying to know, so if you have an idea, please leave it in the comment section. There are many cultures across the globe that have extreme initiation rituals meant to turn boys to men. A, B, C, B, B, D. But no one takes it quite as far as the Sater Maui. This tribe lives in the Brazilian rainforest, and when it comes to coming of age, they don't mess around. They use leaves to weave big gloves for your hand, and then they fill those gloves with bullet ants. Bullet ants are the most notorious insect in South America. When measured on the Schmidt Sting Index, the bullet ant delivers the most powerful sting of any insect on Earth. A sting from one of these little guys is said to feel like you've been struck with a bullet, <laughs> which is how they got their name. The pain from this sting can last a full 24 hours and has been known to cause vomiting. So the tribe elders make the boys put their hands in these gloves and keep them there for 10 minutes. Typically in that time, the kid will get hundreds of stings. And that's not even it. He has to do it 20 more times before he's considered a man. Pop quiz, hot shot. The Amazon River is home to thousands of wildlife species. Can you guess what is the apex predator of the river? See if you can put the correct answer in the comment section below and stay tuned till later on in the video to see if you're right. Number seven, the inhabitants of the Amazon have their very own version of Bigfoot. Known to the locals as the Mapingwari monster, the mere mention of it sends shivers down the spines of jungle dwellers. The folklore of the area is full of tales of people who have encountered this massive beast. Legend has it that this creature measures seven feet tall. It stands on two legs and it stinks so bad that the smell alone can make hunters dizzy and disoriented. Its name translates usually to the roaring animal or the smelly beast. The accounts of run-ins with this creature are widespread and consistent. So much so that recently a few scientists organized an expedition to try to find this jungle monster. So far, they've come out empty-handed. Number six. Next up is an unexplained mystery that's been 
baffling archaeologists for decades. There are a series of ring-shaped deep ditches carved into the Amazon's floor that are older than the jungle itself. Some theories are that they were used by ancient people as burial grounds or as a form of defense, but these are really just guesses. One theory that lives outside of the mainstream is that the rings are marks that were left by UFOs, which landed on Earth way before the forest even grew. Another fact that adds mystery to this puzzle is that there is no proof that tools sophisticated enough to have made these rings even existed at the time they were built. Number five. In 2012, the Amazon's biggest secret was discovered. Deep in the Ecuadorian portion of the Amazon jungle, a group of explorers and a few natives found what is now being called the Lost City of Giants. It was given this mighty name because the explorers found a set of massive tools as well as a colossal pyramid structure. The pyramid slopes upward at a 60 degree angle and it has a flat top. The theory is that it was once used as a sacrificial altar. What's weird is that the tools appear to be way too big to be used by a regular person which has sparked the belief that this was a city once filled with a race of human giants. Local mythology has added fuel to the fire. Legend speaks of a race of huge people who once ruled the jungle. Many are skeptical of this theory, but the jury is still out. What do you think? Number four, the Amazon River is going backwards. The creation of the Andes Mountains about 15 million years ago is arguably the most defining moment in the evolution of the Amazon. Up until the rise of this gigantic mountain range, the river actually flowed into the Pacific coast of South America. It was landlocked for nearly 5 million years. As the mountains grew, they changed the landscape of the continent. Eventually, the river started flowing in the opposite direction, straight towards the Atlantic. Number three, back in 2012, researchers discovered an entire coral reef system hidden in the Amazon River Delta. It's absolutely massive, and it sits at the confluence between the river and the ocean. This thing stretches 600 miles and has a depth range between 100 and 400 feet. Since the discovery of the reef, researchers have been working endlessly trying to explore it. They're sending down submarines that have powerful lights, and the goal is to learn what life is like on the reef. They've found three new species of fish, yellow-spotted river turtles, giant river otters, and rare manatees. Scientists believe that because this reef is the only one on the planet that's located at the mouth of a major river, that it may be home to many more undiscovered plants and animals ensconced in its corals. Oh snap! I just said the word of the day, ensconced. Ensconced means established in a safe or secret place. Good synonyms would be sheltered or entrenched. See if you can use ensconced in a sentence in the comment section below, and we'll feature the person with the most creative phrase in our next video. Number two. Maybe the deepest secret of the Amazon jungle is one that people today would be shocked to hear. In 2017, a study found that the entire rainforest was likely an experiment that went out of hand. Researchers believe that while the jungle may seem like a naturally occurring outgrowth, ancient Amazonian people likely tipped the first domino that led to the creation of the richest biodiversity on the planet. The theory is that ancient Amazonians were trying to farm. They planted and cultivated trees in the area, and by tinkering with the plant life, human beings played a main role in shaping the rainforest. It's answer time! <laughs> the black caimans are the apex predator of the Amazon River, which means that they have no natural predators. These bruisers can grow up to six feet long, and they actually have heavier skulls than the Nile crocodile. They feast on just about anything that's unlucky enough to be in chomping distance. Piranhas, monkeys, deer, and anacondas, all on the menu. Number one. We're learning that the Amazon jungle was once home to millions of more people than modern researchers recently thought. In 2018, research funded by the National Geographic Society made a suggestion that turns our previous beliefs about the history of the Amazon on their head. 
researchers used to believe that the Amazon was sparsely populated up until the time that the Spanish showed up. Much of the region has gone unexplored because it's covered in dense forest, which makes it inaccessible for archaeologists looking to learn more about the history of the area. That's all changed with the use of satellites. Satellites can pinpoint areas that seem as though they've been used for agriculture or for religious ceremonies, and then archaeologists can head to those exact coordinates. Teams have been discovering the remains of villages dating back to the 15th century. The big question is, what happened to these early forest-dwelling people? Perhaps it was disease that wiped them out. But there's still much to learn about this now banished civilization. Thanks for watching! If you liked this video, then you'll love the one we did on the hidden secrets of the Sahara Desert. You can find that right here. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And check back soon for a new video. Bye.